Hey everyone, welcome back to The Sims 4 Mod Review. Today, I'm super excited. Like I told you on Monday, we had an exciting video coming today. At least I'm excited. These two mods that we're gonna be reviewing in our, I say another bundle, it's another mod bundle today. And it's, the first one is an extension to RPO or Relationship Pregnancy Overhaul by Lumpino. The second one is a new mod, literally came out today out of early access, which is the ex like Expanded Pregnancy Interactions, Laura Nay. Basically, it adds like a pregnancy app into your Sims game. So the first mod that we're gonna be looking at is a new way to, it's a new way for your sims to discover that they are pregnant so that'll be more explained within gameplay because i feel like it's one of those it's kind of a little difficult to explain it without the gameplay the second one we're going to be looking at is that expanded pregnancy interaction which obviously we need to send to be pregnant so i figure we will put these both mods to the test and see if you would put these into your game so let's get started so we are in game and if you watch my video on monday you'll recognize this sim i just figured i'd use her again because she's already got the apartment for like a little baby and she was already there so i just figured make my life a little easier we'll use her so for the first mod we do need her to get pregnant so we'll need her to woohoo with someone and i'm gonna use the lovely meet and mingle dating app by lumpina which we've already covered on this channel so i'm gonna have her do that really quickly and then we'll get back to regular scheduled mod reviewing okay so they are going to woohoo but i did want to explain something really quickly while they're woohooing. Basically, this mod is kind of like a delayed reaction to finding out you're pregnant. So instead of taking a test, your Sims can essentially wait a little bit and kind of have like a cryptic pregnancy in a way, but not entirely because your Sims will have new interactions once they're kind of like well into their first trimester of like, oh, is my body like bloated or maybe am I pregnant? Like what's going on? And you'll we'll see that once she woohoos. But if you use Wonderful Whims, Wicked Whims or any mod that kind of modifies your Sims chances of getting pregnant, then this will add some more entertainment because your Sims can essentially woohoo and then wait to see if they're pregnant or if they're just not like fertile enough on that day. Cause Wicked and Wonderful Whims has a period um, section in their mod to where your Sims have like a period. But I'm not gonna take the test. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna, we're just gonna wait. Even if you wait in the Sims like base game, your Sims will still get pregnant. So while she's making dinner, I did wanna point out that you'll have to wait till your Sim is in like the first trimester. So if you don't take a pregnancy test, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're not pregnant. It just means that they're not showing right now. And so when you wait like the 24 hours, then you will get the your Sim in the first trimester to which we can then test out the part of the mods for them, your Sims to be like, am I bloated or is there something else going on okay so it has finally been like a whole 24 hours in the sims and i don't know if you guys can see but she does have a little bit of a bump so that means she is in her first trimester but because my sim didn't take a pregnancy test or anything you can go to any mirror i think i'll just do the one in the bathroom and you can click on a new pop-up thing that says observe self where your sims can observe themselves looking in the mirror to see like if they've noticed anything different about themselves. So they'll just sit here kind of, you know, looking at themselves, obviously observing themselves in the mirror. And then you'll get a little like notification after they've done that. I'll speed it up a little bit, so. And it says, Gina feels like her stomach looks a bit different lately. Is Gina bloated? Did she gain some weight? Or could she be dot, 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 pregnant even? Question mark. And then your Sims will get like a little buff saying strange stomach. It's different for certain Sims. I've had Sims before be like, oh no, I'm not pregnant. Like I'm fine. And then obviously they're pregnant, but there's different interactions. This is the first one I've actually gotten where she's like, yeah, I could be pregnant. And the great thing about it is like, it's a little bit realistic as well. Cause if you go to the relationship, family, pregnancy tab, you can go to like pregnancy and family. And right here it has a go to the doctor for pregnancy tests, even though you could obviously take one at the house it just adds that little bit of you know realistic gameplay so she's gonna go off and get her test done and then when she comes back she'll um be pregnant so it comes back and it's saying she is in her first trimester because it says pregnant second trimester in 21 hours so she's in her first trimester and now we can go check out this new pregnancy app that we have on our phone now this mod is gonna be on the phone obviously you need the mood pack mod by Lumpino and then you need XML injector because it's on the phone. But this mod is hooked up with uh, Pandasama's 
a realistic childbirth mod. So it's very, it's great mod to have in your game with Panda Sam as realistic childbirth mod. So basically we'll click on my pregnancy and you have a list of different options you can click on. So you can click on today, my baby, future parent forum, and the Nobu shop. If you don't know what Nobu means, it means baby but in The Sims, it's Nobu. And we'll click on today. And basically it'll say my trimester. It says, check here, your trimester. Let me tell you guys, my mind was blown when I tested this mod earlier today, just to see how everything worked. Because look at this. You're in your first trimester. There's a picture of an ultrasound there. It basically says, whoa, what a whirlwind of emotions. You've just found out you're pregnant during the first trimester. You will have to take care of yourself and your baby. Those are very important weeks where rest healthy eating and tranquility are essential to try and not have like have complications in the future. Have you had your first ultrasound yet? Which is why it's perfect with the Panda Sama realistic childbirth mod because within that mod, you can actually go and get an ultrasound to see how many babies you're having, what the genders are, and just get a little cute photo to put up in your household. So then it'll say good to know. We can go back into that pregnancy app and click on my baby. And here you can click on like the measurements and and like tips. So basically when you click on the measure, it'll say your baby is the size of a spring pea. Now, obviously in the Sims, we only have trimesters. We don't really go by the week. So right here it says at six weeks pregnant, the baby is the size of a spring pea. The average embryo at the six week is approximately 0 0.6 centimeters, a length that will double in the next week. So it's really, really cute to see like just the different, you guys are so, they're so creative with these mods because obviously again, we don't have weeks in the Sims. We just have trimesters, but this adds so much into your game to make it more realistic. And especially if you're a family game player like myself, this is literally perfect. So we'll click on good to know, and then we'll bring up some tips, which will actually go on the side right here. So it says, did you know that during the first weeks of pregnancy, your baby's vital organs are forming, taking folic acid and prenatal vitamins are highly recommended. This is also great if you have the a Deep Endigo's Healthcare Rodex mod because they actually have prenatal vitamins in the game. So you can use that as you can do that as well. Not sure what I should have her do because we'll have to wait till or you know what I can do guys to speed up this process. Thanks to our good friend over at MC Command Center, one of my must have mods. Everyone should have this in their mod folder. We'll just go to MC Pregnancy Offspring or not offspring. Never mind. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. We'll go to pregnancy phase and then we'll click on second trimester. I almost played another 24 hours in the Sims when I could have just done that. We'll go back into the my pregnancy app. My pregnancy. What is today? Let's check our trimester to see what new options we have. Okay, so you're in your second trimester. Now your baby bump becomes more noticeable in the second trimester. You should also begin to feel first movements of your baby. If you go for an ultrasound, if lucky, you may even discover the sex of your baby. So the one thing that I will point out is in real life, obviously in your first trimester, you can't, you know, find out the gender. I think it's like mainly in your second trimester that you can, but in the Sims a little different because if you do go to that ultrasound in Panasama, you can still find out the gender of your baby, but it is still nice to um, have that because that, it is still nice to have that because that's more realistic to find out the gender in your second trimester. So we'll hit good to know. And then you know what? You can probably already guess where I'm going next. And it's back to the my baby. We'll go to the measurement. I'm not sure how big, okay. The baby is a size of an orange, which makes sense. The baby at 15 weeks has a size between 9.5 and 10 centimeters. So as large as an orange and weigh about 70 grams, the heart is fully developed and now it just needs to grow. So we're kind of in that final stretch of the pregnancy because now we just have the third trimester. But what are some tips that we can get from this pregnancy? Now I will say the tips are different because obviously you're in different trimesters, but I feel like there's a, I don't know how many tips she added into the mod, but there's a lot of tips. Did you know that your baby is already beginning to recognize your voice? Create a moment of relaxation of for you and your baby, listen to music or read a book. He will love it too. So I will We'll say it's perfect with the panda salmon mod and i should have put that in there but i forgot to with the realistic childbirth mod but essentially your sims can read to their baby they can listen to music and um they can do a lot within the realistic childbirth mod but like i said it's like paired together panda Sama helped lorne make this mod have it be um compatible with one another because now we get a buff saying super excited i also forgot to mention that when your sim 
is in like the consulting app, they can get a little bit overwhelmed from all the stuff that they're reading. And um, so that is one thing to note, but the great thing is about this mod is not only can you check your baby's like trimester, like the size and tips and just, you know, what's going on for your sim, but you can also watch childbirth videos online. When just when I thought it couldn't get any better, it gets better. Basically you can watch an alien birth video, a C, a C section birth, a c-section with triplets you can watch a natural birth at home watch natural birth at the hospital watch natural birth twins watch a pool birth watch pool birth at a hospital video and then you can watch surgery machine birth video so we'll just click on maybe like the at home videos because the natural birth has been out for a minute within the realistic childbirth mod, but the home birth, it didn't just come out, but it's one of the newer ways to give birth. But basically your Sims will sit down and there's videos for every, for every video that your Sim wants to watch, there is a video to go with it. So your Sims can actually watch a video, not just stare at a screen and pretend like they're watching a video. Like the details, the details guys in this mod is insane, but it'll basically show it so your sims can you know get an idea of what they're getting themselves into so i'll just kind of fast forward through that so now that she's done watching the video it pops up with this scared the freaking video scared her which i don't blame her she says i had no idea that childbirth could be like this someone help me please Help. They don't warn you about a lot of stuff when you go into childbirth. So at least in The Sims, you can get, you know, an in-depth, you know, an in-depth review of what it's going to be like. So I'm sure your Sims could get different buffs. Mine got the scared one. I don't blame her though, like I said. So we'll have her go back to sleep. I love how it's like sleep. But there is something exciting that I want to show you guys in the morning and just when you thought the mod couldn't get any better, it's it's about to get a whole lot better. So we'll be back when she gets up. So while my Sim's eating her breakfast, I'm gonna walk you through the next part of this mod. Basically within this mod, we have a new option to hire a doula. So you can have a doula come over so your Sims can talk to them about childbirth, anything like postpartum wise or like anything currently within their pregnancies. So how we're going to do this. So we're going to go to our phone and then we'll go to home services, like our home app. And then we will go to the call a doula right here. And it's 250, I think to have them over. And then I think it's 150 simoleons for every hour but I could be wrong, but I remember reading something like that. Anyways, we have the notification saying the doula is coming. Thanks for calling the best doula in town is coming to help. Hopefully this relieves some of Gina's earlier concerns about parenthood. This is Juno, our lovely doula. We're gonna go ahead and invite her. Oh, I about clicked say thanks and ask to leave. That's not what I wanted to do. So this is like the little panel where you can ask all the questions. I actually want her to sit on the, um, the couch. So I'm going to have to chat with her a little bit. She just charged me and left. I'm going to have to call her back. I'm going to have to call her back. Oh, oh, she's back. I think it was just a little glitch. She left, took the money and then came back. I'm just trying to get them to sit down so we can run through these interactions. Okay. Let me pause the game so she doesn't leave again. So basically when you have the doula that comes over, you'll have the doula support section on Juno. Now you can talk about your fears of having, uh, your fears of childbirth. You can ask for a massage. You can discuss fears about intimacy with your partner. You can discuss fears of not, you know, being a good parent. You can talk about bottle feeding, breastfeeding, and venting about your feelings. I think the first thing we should talk about is the fear of childbirth since she already watched that video and got a little scared. So it says childbirth is overwhelming experience. Wondering how it will go is normal. Have you seen some childbirth videos that might help calm you down? She was not calm. She got more scared with those videos. I don't know if I want to put my sim through that again. We'll go ahead and then ask her. I want, it's, it said, I'm not really sure uh, about the childbirth fears. She's still scared about it. I don't blame her. The doula keeps on leaving. I'm convinced she doesn't want to help me. And honestly, I think it's just a glitch in my game because the Sims, ever since the four rent pack came out, it's been insane. We'll keep on inviting her over until she, till we get through everything. I love how she's like, hello again. Juno, get over here. 
you know what? I'm just gonna start talking to her out in the hallway. So we can discuss, like, let's talk about bottle feeding. So right here she gets a buff of thank you, but I still don't know, and it's from, I'm still undecided about which type of feeding to choose. You can also have your Sims choose like a preference of what they want to feed, if they wanna be breastfeeding or bottle feeding. So that also has something to do with it because she hasn't picked yet. Uh, we could talk about, we could vent about her feelings with her as well. And it says, you are the most tenacious person I know. Don't worry, everything will be fine. So she's optimistic now about this whole process, which is good. We could discuss fears of not being a good parent. So, I mean, Juno's really doing a good job. She left again. You know what? I say we just, we leave it. You guys can have fun with it. There's, you know... It's always fun to um, explore the mods on your own, but we got through a couple of those interactions. Wait, is she is she outside talking to Juno? Wait, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. Oh, Juno's still outside. Maybe we can get her to come back up again. She just walked away, so I wasn't sure. Okay, here we go. We'll discuss fears of not being a good parent outside. Just forget about the comfortable couch indoors. We'll go outside and talk about it. So it says, sometimes you may doubt yourself and it's totally normal, but trust me, you are a very good parent. We could also discuss, okay, yeah, she, uh, our time has concluded and I agree with her. I will conclude on that. You guys can explore the other interactions. What I love most about this mod though, is the fact that with every interaction, there's either a buff or you get a, um, like answer to it. So absolutely love that. The duel is a nice touch though, because your Sims are able to really, you know, have more, you know, options outside of their like household or computer to talk with someone who's literally specialized in that field. So I don't know if she's in her third trimester yet. She's got nine hours left, but again, we're just going to MC command it. Third trimester. Now we got one more thing to our My Pregnancy app, which is today, My Trimester says you're in your third trimester. Let's and less is missing. Did you already choose how you would like to give birth? Again, if you had the childbirth mod, you would have already probably picked what type of birth you want your Sims to do. And then it says the last trimester could be the most tiring of all. The weight of the bump, reflex, swollen ankles. You may struggle to do anything because of all this, but remember you're really close now and you will finally embrace your bundle of joy. Good to know. I love how with each trimester, the ultrasound picture changes. I love that. And then we have the next portion, which is the my baby. So what are we now measuring? A watermelon. It says at almost 40 weeks of pregnancy, the baby has the size of a watermelon. Average, the child measures about 51 centimeters from the head to heel the and weighs about 3.4 kilograms, which I am not sure what 3.4 kilograms is in pounds, but I would assume probably like six or seven pounds. That's my guess. Good to know. Now we need some tips. What are some tips for us today? Okay, so it says soon your baby will be fully formed. In fact, you can clearly feel it kicking. It says your baby can now keep his eyes open and distinguish light sources. So I don't know if you guys noticed this, but my Sam is pregnant with a little boy and it says his eyes. So I'm wondering if it changes if you're pregnant with a girl and says your baby can now keep her eyes open. But if that is true, that is a nice touch. I don't know how you coded that, but that is a nice touch to that mod. The other thing I want to show you as well as I'm sure you notice in the my pregnancy app they have the future parent forums but they also have this nobu shop like we were talking about basically this is great for all of your newborn essentials and I did want to point out that if you have growing together you might see that we have this bassinet I'm not sure if this bassinet came with base game I think it was a growing together bassinet but it is locked you have to do a baby shower within your sims 4 game to get this bassinet but if you have this mod you can buy the bassinet bassinet and bypass the baby shower. So I'm just saying, if you wanted the bassinet, you can go through the Nobu shop where you can buy all of your bassinets, your changing tables, your toys, you, literally anything that you need for your babies, you can purchase within this Nobu store here. So really nice because you don't have to go into build mode for a lot of items that you probably just are going to buy and put in a room um, because babies don't have they just stay in their, their respected bassinets. So they don't really need a full on decorated room. 
Uh, but that's really up to you. I'm gonna have her go on the parent forums really quickly so you guys can see that. So she'll basically go in this little like chat room and she'll chat with future parents. And I'm pretty sure that's about it to covering the expanded pregnancy interaction. But that was an incredible mod. I feel like one of my new favorites in game, a definite must have within my Sims 4 game. I feel like this gives your pregnant sims a lot more within the game because if you look at base game pregnancies i generally feel bad for those pregnant sims because they got no literally nothing they're pregnant for three days and it's like no one cares but at least with our lovely mod creators we can actually have a more realistic pregnancy and game she's still on that consulting app all right well my sim's going to sleep and i will be ending the video here because we basically kind of covered everything well thank you all so much for watching today's video i hope you all enjoyed it as much as i did filming it hopefully this is is a new mod you will add into your sims 4 game to kind of spice up your pregnant sims lives I, I feel like again like i was saying like vanilla base game sims 4 pregnancies literally don't have anything so to have mod creators that can make these mods so realistic but also you know flow within our sims 4 game is incredible when i saw this mod like two weeks ago i was like this is gonna be in my like must have mod list because it's actually insane how they can make this so realistic. They make the Sims 4 pregnancies much more realistic with the expanded pregnancy interactions. Now this mod just dropped today. So I'm so excited to see what the future of this mod is. So definitely go check it out yourselves. And the Lumpino mod is still insane. I mean, we've covered her mods a couple of times on this channel with the RPO, but to have new ways to discover your Sims 4, like your Sims being pregnant is insane. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your thoughts are on these two mods and would you add them into your game but make sure to put those notifications on so you never miss another video and if you want to see more videos like this don't forget to hit that subscribe button but with that i will see you all on friday